This lesson deals with the definition of root mean square. You can find these notes in the ECE 202 ebook in chapter 8, starting on page 58. Clearly, AC and DC voltages and currents are very different. However, if you plug a heating element into a DC source, it gets hot. Likewise, if we plug the same heating element into an AC source, it likewise gets hot. We could consider average power as a way to equate these two quantities. Suppose we take a DC source and connect it across our resistance of our last video. What value of DC voltage would produce the same heating effect as our phasor that we applied? Let's calculate the power dissipated. It's, it's going to be V squared over R, so the battery squared over R. And we could graph that versus time, so it'd just be a constant. We could label something as a period and twice the period, but it's just basically the same value. Let's take our definition of average power, which is 1 over the period, integral from 0 to the period of our function dt. That would be V battery squared over R, dt. Pull out the constant in front, because this is not a function of time. We get the integral of 1 dt evaluated from the upper limit minus the lower limit. That'd be t minus zero times the battery squared divided by r and then divided by t. The t's cancel and we just get the battery voltage squared divided by r. Now let's set this equal to the value we found on page 55 for the same value of resistance. And then we found that to be v sub a squared over 2r. We can now solve for v battery. The r's cancel and we take the square root of both sides of the equation. We would then get v sub a and v battery and then divided by the square root of 2. What this means is that a battery equal V sub A over the square root of 2 produces the same average heating as a sinusoid with an amplitude of V sub A. Let me show you an example of how to interpret this. How many car batteries would it take to make a pot of coffee in the same time as it would be to plug the coffee pot into the wall outlet? Okay, the wall outlet's approximately 169.7 times the cosine of 2 pi times 60 times t. Battery voltage then would be equal to the 169.7 divided by the square root of 2. And that's equal to 120 volts. We sometimes call this the effective voltage because it creates the same heating effect. But that would be 10 12 volt batteries. If you were to take 10 12 volt batteries and hook them up in series, you would then create 120 volts DC, and that would make a pot of coffee in exactly the same time as it would be to plug it into the wall outlet. It has a voltage equal to 169.7 times the cosine of 2 pi f times t. Let's take this example and create a general expression for the effective voltage. So in the last example we had the battery squared over r, and that would be equal to 1 over period integral of our voltage squared divided by r. And let's solve for the battery voltage. And the r's cancel, so it's not a function of r, and I would get then the square root of this quantity, so I've got the square root of 1 over the period, integral from 0 to the period, of my voltage squared dt. Now if you look at this, what I've got here is the square, I've got the mean value, and then I've got the square root. So sometimes this effective voltage is also called the RMS voltage, which stands for root mean square. I create a general formula for calculating an RMS value of a voltage or a current. It's going to be the integral of the function squared, dt, integrated from 0 to a period, divided by the period, and then square root. You may have seen on the back of stereos or even labeling on wall outlets that voltages in a house are somewhere between 110 volts and 120 volts RMS. What that really implies then is that if you then the peak value would be 110 times the square root of 2, that would be 155.6. And again, it's times the cosine of omega t, where omega is 2 pi f, which would be 2 pi times 60. If you had 120 volt RMS value at your wall outlet, the peak value would be the square root of 2 times that, or 169.7. These are some of the properties of root mean square.